spectacular set of caves where three faiths converged. The Undavalli cave temples on the outskirts of Vijayawada are unique. Here you can see Buddhist, Hindu and Jain faiths come together. Carved out of a single large sandstone cliff, these caves are truly amazing. Undavalli caves are believed to have been built as Buddhist monasteries or viharas, originally by the Vishnu Kundira kings who ruled over these parts at the time. The monks here probably received patronage from the wealthy merchants who would pass through the area on their way to the city of Abravati, a major urban center of its time. Many of these donors have been immortalized in stone here. As power moved to the hands of the Chalukyas between the 6th and 8th centuries CE, the Undavalli caves became a center for Jain monks as the patronage shifted. In fact, parts of the caves look strikingly similar to the Udaygiri and Khandagiri caves 800 kilometers away in present-day Odisha. The last layer of influence on these caves has been the most prominent. Undavalli caves were converted to Hindu shrines by the eastern Chalukyas of Vengi who came to power in the region around the 9th century CE. The cave temples are dedicated to the Trimurti or Holy Trinity of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva and their avatars like Narsimha. In fact, legend has it that these caves are also connected to the Gandala Narsimha Swami temple 8 kilometers away. While the caves are adorned all over with beautiful sculptures and lifelike statues, the most spectacular sight here is this. A 5 meter long statue of Vishnu as Padmanabha in a reclining position resting on the Shish Nag, all carved out of a single block of granite. Even today, a visit to the Undavalli Caves is like flipping through the pages of a book, discovering the history of this part of Andhra Pradesh layer by layer.